Hey guys, Pablo here. In this video, the project that we're going to discuss is called SDX Coin. Now, they're the team behind SDX Coin, they're working on the development of a lot of the things. So, in this video, we're going to break down all the developments, all these new developments that they're doing, and we're going to talk about what potential does SDX Coin actually holds, and then we're going to talk about how you can buy the tokens and so forth. So, make sure that you watch this video till the end. Uh, do not that I think I say it's not going to be an investment or financial advice, so always do your own investigation research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, here we are at the official website of Super Transfer Exchange. We will be learning about this entire project from this website uh, and I also have their white paper which is really elaborated but uh, since I have read the entire thing I have studied the entire project so we're not going to go over sentence by sentence uh, I'm going to keep things very brief and very to the point so that we can in understand this entire project and its potential within five to seven minutes. So before we get into this, um, you guys do remember the formula that I've shared with you guys in a lot of videos because people, a lot of people ask me, how do I tell if a project has potential or not, or whether the price of a token is going to increase or not? Uh, and I've told this thing a lot of the times that the, you know, the simplest definition of the formula is that if a token has utility and that utility is something that we will actually use, then there are definite chances that it is going to go up. Now, in order for a project to be successful and in order for a token to go up, it needs to create those utilities that people will actually want, people will actually use, and they need to offer it better than anyone else so that they can drive the audience to the project. Because the more the token is you know, uh, used, it is bought, the more the ecosystem grows. So this is the simplest definition and uh, when we put this project into this definition it surpasses other projects in this genre and um, you don't really have to believe on my words on this uh, you can actually just you know base this thing on logic so i'm gonna review this whole thing and in the end you can just make up your minds uh, about this you can see there was a count right here it was about the sale uh, to start and it has started so by the time you will be watching this uh, it is live now and we're gonna see how we can buy this but first we're gonna talk about the entire project so if we start talking about the utilities there are a lot of utilities that we have in this one they're working on developing a lot of things it says innovating the future with new developments into currency crypto live market rates uh, crypto for stock exchange shares and acquisitions now this is something this is kind of like I would say a technology or a service that they're offering which is they have applied for the patent to be passed it, I mean it, this is so much unique and they want to own this idea so they're currently waiting for for the parent to be passed and of course when it's passed there will be more information regarding this technology but i'm going to share with you guys as much as i know and then web3 development nft marketplace metaverse with play and concept uh, logistics via crypto application and much more to come uh, this logistics they're actually um, they have acquired a logistic company that is generating uh, a revenue a profit of 40 million dollars and now that will be brought into the whole sdx ecosystem and you can see how much liquidity will that increase for the whole ecosystem uh, so it's going to create you know major differences in the whole ecosystem and in the price of the sdx now you will notice that i'm gonna refer a lot to the price of the uh, sdx and because i know for a lot of you guys this is what the main focus is because we want to invest in something that is going to you know increase and grow in the future now if you start talking about all these utilities one by one uh crypto for stock exchange shares and acquisition what's going to happen in this one is uh they're going to allow or enable uh, the purchase of stock exchange shares from new york uh stock exchange from london stock exchange and singapore via this very sdx exchange and uh, they will be using the sdx coin as payment and the shares will be stored in the personal wallet and they will be able to sold uh, for SDX coin or other currencies. Now, this is something that they have applied the payment to be passed. So they're currently waiting on that. But this very concept is very unique. And I think this is the closest connection we have seen between stock exchanges and cryptocurrencies, which is really revolutionary. Then Web3 development, which of course is a whole umbrella and it includes a lot of things. Uh, one of them includes metaverse in this. And uh, the play one, we have a lot of, we have seen a lot of games that have the play one concept, but one thing that you will notice is that in a lot of the player and games uh, they actually focus on the whole economy model but not the game itself they don't make the game interesting they just you know uh, bring out the simple pac-man game and uh, apply you know the whole economic model in this uh, but that's that really needs to change they need to offer something that people actually want uh, they need to create a game that people will actually love and uh, will be entertained playing the game 
So this is where they're making the, this difference. And if it are with the NFT marketplace, we know what that is for, uh, which is going to be another way where the token will be utilized. And there will be a whole integration of NFTs with the games. So you can get NFTs in the marketplace and you can see where it can be used or what abilities will, will this specific NFT will provide you and so forth. So um, I'm talking about these things very briefly, but I can take this very one concept and I can make a whole video on this, but I'm keeping this very brief in this one. And then we have the logistics via crypto application. Now I talked about this. Um, they have actually acquired uh, a company, a logistics uh, company that is generating a profit of $14 million. And uh, this company belongs to the community itself. Uh, all the profits will be put into the STX coin, which will be uh, afterwards when the whole bridge is created and the whole uh, uh, it goes kind of like it goes live and the profits starts being accumulated into the ecosystem this is going to bring a lot of liquidity into this and uh, this is going to reduce the supply and the price uh, of the stx uh, coin this is definitely going to be pumped like drastically so i would prefer that you join in before this happens and other than this they're also developing the logistics application for the industry which will be operated using the stx coin uh which will be used for all the payments so basically any logistics job that will be booked uh you know using the app it will be paid via crypto so Two of these concepts you can see one of them is crypto for stock exchange shares and acquisitions and the logistics via crypto application this is something that you will not see anywhere else so this these very concepts is are very unique one of them is actually an idea that no one actually have used and they have uh you know apply for the patent and the other utilities that we have in other projects they are offering it better than the others so web3 development nft marketplace and the metaverse with the playground concept uh, with the whole nft integration and the game that are being you know uh, interesting in themselves that even if there's no economy model people will still be interested in playing those so this is where I think they're creating major difference. And usually you would see one utility in a project, and, but in this one, you're seeing four to five major utilities in this very project. Uh, and the STX coin is basically sitting in the center. So you can just imagine the potential that it has and how much is going to be increased. Then we have a lot of detail in this. Of course, you can read out on your own. You have the whole video. If we talk about the roadmap afterwards, I'm going to show you guys uh, how you can uh, buy the token. Uh, there was this in March 2022 in this very year. ID and research, the website development and white paper, and then token pre sale in September. In October, they're going to go for promotion and partnership. And then in the November, they're going to go for a listing on digital exchanges, which I would actually suggest you guys that so you get into this before that happens. Uh, because after when it gets listed, it starts to receive more exposure, there are more people that comes into it. And at that time, the price already is pumped, so it's better to come in before that happens. Now, let's talk about how you can buy the STX token and then we're going to conclude the project. So when you come over here, you will see this countdown that shows 25 days. This is when the sale is going to end. So you have decent 25 days to do your research, investigation, and then you can make up your mind. And when you do, you can come over here. You're going to click on buy STX. This is going to open up a page, something like this, where you can put in your email address and password. But since we don't have an account yet, so first we're going to create an account for that. You're going to click on sign up here. And now from here, you will be putting in your name, your email address, your password. You're going to repeat the password and then click on I agree to terms and conditions. This is going to send an email address to the email that you provided. You're going to go over there and you're going to verify your account from there. Once you have verified, you can come back here and you can sign in. So this is what it shows when you sign in. Uh, we can see that the price on the private sale, which is currently running, is uh, we get one SDX for 0.1 USD. Uh, I already have verified my email and this is where you can submit the kyc this is where it shows the progress of the sale so this is the soft cap this is the hard cap and this is the counter when it's going to end uh we're going to go over to the buy sdx place and uh, when we click on this um uh, we're going to need to put in our uh, bsc address first so before doing any of these you're going to come over here and you're going to put in your address i'm just going to put my temporary address i use i'm going to add wallet and you can see wallet has been updated and um, i think i probably need to refresh okay never mind so when you have added this um this is when you can choose the currency that you want to use to buy stx token whether you want to use ethereum bnb btc i mean i can use simply bnb uh this is a temporary you can put in the amount of um stx that you want to buy and it's going to show you guys how much bnb is it going to require so let's say i want to say 
10 or 100 you can see how much it requires and you can simply click on make payment and that's it it says your contribution will be calculated based on exchange rate at the moment when you uh, when your transaction is confirmed and this is where you can buy the token right here i mean the whole process is pretty straightforward you have all the other functions right here on the my token profile and so forth so uh buying procedure is not difficult it's pretty straightforward there's nothing difficult about this so um yeah i think this is all of you guys in this whole project if there's something if there's any trouble that you're having or any question that you have of course you can put it in the comment section and i'll come to you guys over there but yeah i think this is all of you guys in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one shortly so stay tuned disclaimer trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital you should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience investment objectives and seek independent financial advice if necessary it is up to you whether to invest or not.